Speaking of Anthony's tweets, I did want to bring up that he got into one of his uh, awesome to watch yeah. Twitter arguments with the entire Twitter community yesterday over this uh, was it Troy Davis I don't situation. Know, I don't know. I, I read a little bit about it, and uh, it kind of reminds me, I guess, of the, uh, the Mumia Abu Jamal case in mm-hmm. uh, Philadelphia, where a cop was killed. Black guys, you know, accused or go death row for it, and people, it becomes the cause celeb, yeah, to get him off. And then you read certain aspects of it. It's like, well, there was some doubt about it. Something the prosecutor said, though, kind of, uh, I don't know if we have it in this article, but one of the, the prosecutor who has retired said, yes, this case was a travesty or something. To, I'm paraphrasing. It's a travesty, but only because it took so long. Um, there's the presumption of innocence or something, but they took what could be a sh- what appears to be a shadow of a doubt um, and made it look like it was a shadow of a doubt. Like it, it was it was an impression of a shadow of a doubt. Basically, she was saying she was saying that he was absolutely guilty. Yeah, I mean, I was reading uh, articles because I didn't know much about it until right. yesterday, to tell you the truth, and uh, I didn't see anything that was super compelling that he was innocent. Like. Right. I guess there was doubt as to whether or not he was guilty. I think the lack of of evidence like, was it. Like, yeah, was there not a lot. Of, it would well. I mean, was he, the court case rushed along? Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't rushed along. But he was he was convicted mainly based on on the testimony of nine witnesses. All eyewitnesses, yeah. And the, I mean, they never found the gun. They never, you know. Uh, but there were shell casings that apparently matched, you know. Uh, a gun that he was previously convicted for in a shooting. So, well, did they arrest him on the spot or did he run? No, he uh, he ran and he was uh, he turned himself in after uh, after the man who he says shot the cop went to the cops and said, "No, Troy Davis did it." But who said it first? Uh, the other guy. I, I don't. So the I don't other guy might have been out with Troy Davis. Yeah. They were together. Troy. Okay, so Troy Davis might have shot this guy and the other guy and then tr- uh, the other guy went to the jail and I'm not going to fucking yeah cuz he realized murder. holy shit what just happened this guy just him. killed somebody and then uh but i, I guess the but thing, over the years like seven of the nine witnesses yeah, what, recanted their testimony yeah, and, testimonies rough. and said that they were you know they were coerced and i mean they, pro- they you do try to get confessions that you want out of eyewitnesses i guess from time to time but it's a so, tough. So case. the question is, the question is whether it was him or the guy he was with. Because yeah, it and had then, to be and then one other of those. people say that you know, like this other guy has like confessed to doing it, like when he was drunk, and you know, was it's a tough a- case. I mean, this guy he wasn't a good guy, you know, like he'd been yeah. convicted on other stuff before. It's rough with the death penalty because yeah. it'd be one thing if like, okay, we'll leave him in jail for a while and just try. Eventually, something will happen. But when you got to kill a guy. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta yeah, really make tough. sure. Yeah, yeah, because they they say it's, it's like we are the argument is well, if you know a hundred percent that he did it, it's okay to kill him, but the court system has it built in where they feel they know something a hundred percent, but then they can refuse new evidence. Like the Supreme Court did a weird thing with this one where they actually gave him a chance to prove his innocence, which normally you don't have to prove your innocence; they have to prove, and it was a higher. Uh, I guess preponderance of evidence than the... Well, it's tough to prove your innocence. It's a, it's a lot tougher to prove your innocence than to prove somebody's guilty. Well, they wanted more evidence to prove he was innocent, yeah. but the Supreme Court normally doesn't do that. Yeah. And I think he couldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, or he, he just... They didn't feel it was strong enough, so they sided with the prosecution. But this wasn't like... Like the West Memphis 3 thing, like everybody said they didn't do it. This wasn't that cut and dry. Yeah. It was or it wasn't? No, no, no. It, oh, it, it wasn't was not. that cut and dry. But yeah. it makes me hard... It, it's hard for me to be on the side of the death penalty... I mean, of course, a cop killer, I think, deserves to be put to death. Yeah. But I just don't, I don't trust that we're 100% right. Well, yeah, cause so, no, because so many mistakes have been yeah, made. There's so many times that it's been proven that, that, oh, this guy really didn't do it. Oh, he's been in jail for 25 years, and now he's being released. DNA you know? gets yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. And the fucking fact that prosecute you know, fuck prosecutors on some cases. Like, when you look at that guy, Nifong, or whatever his name was, in the... Uh, the uh, the three Duke guys, mm-hmm. who was a, the prosecutor who was fucking being a total twat and was disbarred for his behavior, they're dirty too sometimes. They don't want to admit they made a mistake. They don't want to admit they prosecuted the wrong guy. Well, that's that. That's why the West Memphis Three had to had to put in an Alfred plea because the prosecution doesn't want to admit that they were wrong. The they fucking prosecution. Why wouldn't you order DNA evidence if you put a guy in jail you shouldn't have? Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Like be a person, be a human being. Like you have to admit. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Like, it wasn't just one person who did it. It was a whole... Obviously, everybody was 
it has to come together yeah. to put somebody in jail. One person can't put a guy in jail. So it's not like one person has to stand up and say, sorry, I blew it. It's like we all come together and say, yeah, look, we might have rushed to this. The fact that they, they don't, the prosecutors or whatever should be the ones looking for uh, DNA evidence. Thank you, Kenny. And trying to get guys free if they put them in jail. They don't care. They, they, they got really the don't. win. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like they want to make sure that they have a good record, that they yeah. have enough wins. So it's like whatever whatever person you put in front of them, their job is to put them in jail, not to figure out whether they do the right, right thing. Their job is to get the death penalty for Wow, them. welcome to the Liberals Radio Hour. We really sound like <laughs> flamers. Yeah, Ant's probably going crazy somewhere uh, like, that was a piece of shit! Yeah, Fuck him! Well, that's what he was doing on Twitter last night. <laughs> well, like, no one's... Compl I mean, we're all sitting here, but no one's complaining about the white supremacist who was killed yesterday. I, mean, I think you know, know he was guilty. Sure, exactly. I mean, about you know, guilty. I'm, I'm not against the death penalty when... No. But, when it's been proven that you dragged a black man for miles. That's what I love about Ant, though. Like, we're all sitting here saying, well, you know, I guess it could have been... It could Ant was never so sure of anyone's guilt in his life yesterday. <laughs> he knew that that man killed that cop and needed to die today. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm up in the air. I just think that poor people... I don't even think it's racial. I think it's just m poor people have a much higher shot at getting it because they can't afford the defenses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just... I don't, uh, I don't trust it. I mean, but... W w is this other guy saying anything that was with him? Or what happened to I don't the know. other guy? Is he in jail? I imagine uh, now he's not going to confess. Yeah, I know. I imagine he's going to keep it under his hat if he did do it. <laughs> just kill them both. I, I mean, that way... I don't like fucking pro uh, uh, eyewitness stuff only being uh, enough to get a guy put to death, though. Yeah. Because eyewitnesses are fucking idiots. And they never found the gun? No. Mm. But then again, nine people saying they saw you do something. That's a lot of eyewitnesses. Yeah, were they changing their opinions because they started to feel guilty? Like, that, oh no, this, the weight of what I said is having this guy killed? That probably has a lot to do with it. Like, like people going back and say, well, it could have been someone else. I mean, was I coerced? When, in actuality, the cops are probably more forcing them to remember. Like, no, think about it. Think, was it, was it, what? And finally they'll say yes. And then, yeah, maybe they do feel guilty. Yeah, it's a tough one because I don't think anybody's disputing the fact that he was there. And that he was part of this gang that was, you know, like... Ooh. Well, you know... <laughs> gang of ruffians. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the lords. Uh, so, so like, I, like I said before... Like, he's, he not, he's not a guy that we're, we're fighting for his freedom. No, I don't because... think anybody's fighting for his freedom. People are fighting for, uh, you know, a new trial. Yeah. Although, I mean, I don't know if you want a new trial and give him the opportunity to figure out a mistrial and a way to get out of jail because he shouldn't be out of jail by any stretch of the imagination. Well, they could have well, committed a sentence. Yeah. But he was there. He was an accessory, at least. He had a lot of high-profile people supporting him, though. Doesn't Who mean anything. He, Who did he have? He had uh, Jimmy Carter. Um, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. Was oh, like, fuck. Well, if Diddy was supporting him, exactly. then obviously. Uh, Pope Benedict the 16th. They're always against that penalty. The Pope's always against it. Yeah, they will. Anytime there's, there's, there's a, a tiny bit of doubt, like we could say that this is a bad thing. They'll support anyone. And, he, and even if you, they, they think you're guilty, they would still say that they shouldn't put you to death. Big boy. Big boy from Outcast. Look, I think that maybe while, while Jim said that his opinion wasn't racially motivated, Diddy and Big Boy might have been somewhat racially motivated in, this, so? in this cause. I Did would, they say that or no? They didn't say that. This is just my opinion. Yeah, you're probably right. But Big Boy from Outcast hasn't been known to be the most politically outspoken person in the past. Um, they see a black guy being put to death, and they want to stand up. And yeah, uh, and there's a, a there's an ounce of 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 doubt. They're gonna be the guys to say, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, uh, doesn't mean anything. Who cares? Yeah. Well, that sounds kind of shitty, but he wasn't a good guy. Yeah, I mean, he was no. like we said, he was at least an accessory to murder, if not a murderer. He yeah, didn't he, like wasn't he fucking pistol whipping a guy for a beer? Some well, that, homeless guy yeah, for that, a beer. That's Jesus, how it started. So he did, but he, well, and he definitely no, did that. They, well, the the story goes that the man was pistol whipping this homeless man because they got into a fight about a beer this off-duty police officer who was working as a security guard at a burger king so you know you're in a good neighborhood yeah when you need a security guard at a burger king yeah no it's never the sign of a good neighborhood oh literal gym okay, good, sorry. <laughs> so uh so so the off-duty police officer comes over to try and break up the fight and troy Ends davis allegedly so but troy davis definitely was the guy pistol whipping the homeless guy that's what they say but okay so that's whoever was pistol whipping the homeless guy Shot the cop. Right, and then there's no fucking gun. What happened to the gun? What were you pissed about with the fact you fucking <laughs> never found the gun? The hard part of your thumb? This is like clue. Yeah, it's really <laughs> exciting. Yeah, there the was intrigue. Yes. There must Colonel have been Troy a gun there. With the gun was in the piss stained alley. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brian wants to say something. I don't know where he's from. Brian, you're on the uh, Opie and Anthony show, as it were. Yes. 
say, you guys got to get your facts straight. There were 23 state witnesses that presented evidence that they saw him shoot the guy. The seven people that recanted of the nine were all friends of Troy Davis. You guys got your fucking facts okay. from Amnesty International. No, he didn't. No, I got my facts from Yahoo News. I got my facts well, I'm not, from... I'm not getting shit from Amnesty International. I got my facts from Lib Travis over here. But we're actually... We're actually saying... We're Air Force... We're saying that we don't know. Yeah. Dude. There were... There were... Tw well, why... How come every article says there were nine witnesses? Yeah, I've I don't understand. Nine. Where's 23? With the media. This guy was... Jimmy's point. No, it's the media's the agenda. For, 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 well, right, the media's but dude, hold on. You're saying 23 witnesses. Maybe you're right, but don't act like we don't have our facts when everywhere is saying nine. Where is saying 23? If you're right, I'll say you're right. I just don't know where it is. Yeah. Look, pull up, pull up Ann Coulter's article last night. Who's a lawyer? All right. Look, okay. Brian. I mean, if you're gonna say that Travis is biased for looking at Amnesty International, don't you think Ann Coulter might have a slight yeah she's bias? A, she's a little right. We're looking at now. We're looking at two ends of the spectrum here, Brian. You're arguing a point, but she's a fucking lawyer that can review cases, and she did. She went through all 187 pages of it. She has a slight agenda. Yeah. She probably did, though, and she is a lawyer. Yeah, I mean, There's she's not a dumb woman. witnesses that presented it. Seven of those people were his friends that recanted post-case. Okay. You all right. can't argue that fact. That's there were a fact. total of 23 witnesses to one or both of the shootings. To, what do you mean, what, to one or both? Of his shootings. Oh, wait, the wait. one that he was previously oh, convicted of. Okay, the for. one he was previously yeah. convicted of. So on this so case... So you get your facts straight. There was only nine on this case. Yeah. So, and yeah, and the other ones are not up to... That's, so there's, what, 14 for Probably 14 the other for the other case. one. So obviously he was a piece of shit. Yeah, I but, mean, that's not... It's not up for debate whether or not he was a shitty guy and whether or not he should not be in society. So, Brian, what's your comment on that? He hung up. Why would he hang up? I don't know. I guess he thought we were done. Brian, we'll call, we'll call back because Travis just raised the point... That uh, you didn't have your fact. There's nothing worse than somebody going, get your facts straight, when they don't have their yeah. facts right. Get your facts straight and hang up before they realize. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, Joe in Buffalo, you're on ONA. Hey, guys. Hi, What's Joseph. Up? Hey, listen. The, uh, oh, stick the window. The, uh, <laughs> there was physical evidence. The bullet that they pulled out of the cop matched the bullet that Troy Davis had used in a gun in a previous crime that he was convicted of. Okay. So they know it was his gun that shot the cop. And the witnesses that changed their testimony, they didn't say that he didn't shoot the cop. They just softened their testimony. Well, we're not sure. Uh, yeah, that's what... You know, that, there may be a yeah. lot of that guilt you were talking what, about. What, what happened? The, how, why was he on the street if he was convicted of another fucking murder? I don't, I don't think it was necessarily a murder. It was just a shooting. Oh, oh okay. It was a robbery. Oh, okay. See, that's, oh, okay. what that, that, that's what I keep saying. It's it's tough because this guy obviously wasn't a good guy. That's yeah, a fucking you know. Yeah, it seems just like... because you didn't find the gun, you know, you still the yeah. the casings matched. Yeah, you know. It, uh. Uh, yeah. I, so it, if he didn't do it, his friend took his gun and did yeah, it. He probably you know. shot the car. Don't you wish it was Troy Kwan we were talking about? <laughs> It's a conspiracy. Spiracy, spiracy. I, I just have questions about the shooting. That's <laughs> yeah. all I'm saying. I just, I just have questions. The callers call up, and instead of, like, we're saying, yeah, maybe you're right. Look, I don't have the answers. Yeah. Just the questions. You know, I just don't have time to investigate it. Oh, I, don't, I would love to see. Although, we would ask Troy for his opinion. I haven't done the research. I, don't, I, I, haven't, I don't know. I'm just saying that we might not know what happened. We probably don't know what happened that night. You know where the murder weapon is? Where? Harp. Harp. The harp. <laughs> Mark in New York. Hello. Hi, Mark. Mark. It's Rob, but that's all right. Okay. <laughs> you guys were talking about when this guy was pistol whipping him, mm -hmm. that they never discovered the gun. You know, back uh, in the 90s, early 90s, when we had the crack epidemic in New York, you know, we always had a saying that the gun never hit the floor, because you could be chasing a guy, he throws the gun, you chase him half a block, you come back, that gun is gone, it's in the wind. So just because they don't have the gun, that doesn't mean he didn't have it that time. Not true. We just think that, uh, you know... It's easier if they had it, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think that makes him innocent. I'm starting to think he was probably guilty. Probably, yeah. He, was, he probably did it. I mean, I, I don't know. And I don't know if it's like, it's important not to kill people, I guess, but uh, no, I don't it's know. It's very important. I don't know. But yeah, but I don't know if you want to like use all this energy and rally behind a guy that was a bum of a guy anyway. He was a bum 
it, it's hard. It's like the death penalty again. I feel poor people get it more, so that's why I've kind. Of, but I don't think it's cruel and unusual. Like fucking Amnesty International, all these groups they say it's cruel and unusual punishment, which yeah. is against the Constitution. But I don't think it is. I just think that poor people get it more, so we shouldn't have it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's definitely accurate because they can't afford attorneys. But I, I, I yeah, I think probably protesting this guy's death penalty might have been a slight waste of time however in a perfect system <laughs> it you know, like, probably was where there was like say the video it, it was the uh, thing if you had video of somebody doing something yeah in a perfect system i'd be all for it yeah i'd be all for dismembering people while they were alive yeah i mean <laughs> torture even yeah. i mean if you had like concrete evidence like there's no way we can come back later and say that was somebody else but yeah you listen to legal eagles here <laughs> in the morning <laughs> well, look it's a big court day for us it sure is any of their case Troy Davis, he's dead, but he, yes, had, he, he had, had his day he had in court. His, he had his day. He lost. Didn't go so good for him. He, um, did, he had like 15 days in court, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he had a lot. Supreme Court did, did something for him they haven't done in 50 years. But, I Which mean, was consider a new trial. Way to stop the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Boring fact. Who cares? Well, they considered, a new, wait, they considered it, but then they didn't give it to him? Yeah, I guess that they heard evidence and they found that the prosecution... Um, was right. Yeah, I, well, I missed this whole thing too because when before, right before I went to bed, it was he had like some delayed execution thing. So yeah. when I sent out the email that goes to all these guys, it was it was that he's alive and That's they're going to delay everything. And then I wake up and he's fried or uh, not fried rather, yeah. but he's dead. And I'm just like, oh well, now I look retarded. <laughs> I got the the news prep email and it was like, oh, looks like they're cool. going to yeah, they're not going to execute him. And then I woke up, woke up, dead. he's dead. He's yeah. not alive. Well, Obama couldn't have stopped it anyway. They were trying to get Obama to intercede, but he wouldn't because it's a state issue. Yeah. And and, they, and he couldn't have stopped it anyway. The Supreme Court thought he was, didn't want to give him another trial because they were like, all right, he's guilty. Like, we tried him. Well, they felt, maybe they felt that the trial, I don't even know if it was about guilt or innocence. I think they may have felt that the, the, the trial went through properly. Yeah. Travis, you don't, you don't like that he got killed, though? Uh, I don't really have that big of a problem with it. But, you know, like, like Jim said, like, I don't have a problem with the death penalty if, if you know, it's 100% like, you know, this guy is is yeah. Guilty. Like if there's no denying it, like like the, the, so guilty, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Travis was a big uh, West Memphis Three defender for as long as I can remember. I yeah. still no. am because he killed the kids. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> there's no way that they did that. Yay! So you know, I mean, the, there have been cases like the West Memphis Three where it's it's been proved that there are just you know yeah terrible injustices. That, yeah, that happened. But I mean, there's obviously more Although, evidence that Troy Davis was a bad person. I would have been so happy if the West Memphis Three got out of jail and said, we did "Stupid it. documentary <laughs> makers! <laughs> oh, Eddie Vedder! Yeah, we got you, stupid! We did it! We killed those kids!" Like I don't know why Mumia is a bit in, in Philly. I, it's Mumia with a C. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, I, I've looked at the Mumia Abu Jamal case, but I've never read it in depth. But I don't know why. People are so. Con I think he did get kind of a shitty trial. There's a couple of things that I read I didn't like, but I still think he did it. It's uh, it's really. Scum I mean, I guess they killed somebody, so there's nothing more scummy than that. But it, it's the worst when somebody does a crime and realizes that, well, there might be a loophole somewhere, so I can just trick everybody into thinking that I was, you know, that there was injustice against me. Yeah, it's uh, it's I don't know. It's just I saw a documentary recently on fucking uh, on. Uh, DNA evidence, and there's so many people that have gotten out of prison on DNA. Yeah, that's scary. And the fact, what bothers me is that the state is wasting all this money. Well, what they should be doing is, if you're in jail and there was any doubt for a rapist or a murder or a pedophile, and DNA can help you, any prosecutor that fights DNA evidence, and I know some fucking dickhead convicts will use it just to drag things out and delay it, but any prosecutor that fights DNA evidence in a case like this should just be fucking thrown off the prosecution yeah. force or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> you get badges if yeah. you're on the prosecution force? <laughs> and we're trying to have a serious conversation. I realized I didn't know what, where it was going. I was going to say shot, but I realized that was too harsh. Maybe disbarred? Disbarred, yes. Thank you. You are no longer welcome on the prosecution force. <laughs> That's like the shitty uh, rip-off copy of the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, the, the prosecution force. Yes. Lawyers in capes. A bunch of women with awful tits and perms named Marsha flying around. Uh, Rob in New Jersey. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, you know, listen to this whole debate on the death penalty. My uh, my uncle, his name was Peter Voto, 
was uh, killed by Thomas Trantino back in the 60s. It was called The Night at the Angel Lounge in Lodi, New Jersey. Is that, like, confirmed, or are you yes. making accusations? No. No, okay. no, no, no. It was okay. confirmed. He was convicted. of the, His partner was killed in New York City. You know, okay. they found him in a hotel and straightened him out quick. But uh, this friggin' animal, you know, he gets, he gets a death penalty. Then all of a sudden New Jersey overturns the death penalty and says, okay, you know, no, life imprisonment. And then they let him out on parole. So explain that. Well, they should have had life without parole. Yeah. That's, that's the, the, life without parole, was that an option when that was done? Yeah. Oh, I don't that's know why they did it. How can you go from death penalty yeah. to having a paroled sentence? I don't know. Like, so he, on, he only got out because they did away with the death penalty, not because there was right. new evidence. Or, death row. Then they converted his sentence to, to life imprisonment, and they put him not even in a jail cell. He was in a friggin' – I mean, if you look up, there's actually video. Like, he did uh, videos. He wrote a book, and they put him in, a, in, like, a camper or some kind of mobile home on the jail and shit. You know, he, was, he married his lawyer. Oh my. Which so he had a happy life. Of. Yeah, that, that's sickening. I mean, I'm well, not talking about that. I, how I just, long did he do? Yeah. Three, what, three uh, months? He was in jail for like 30-something years. I mean, he's like 67 years old now. I mean, I, I got a good mind to just go find him and take care of business for my family. But nah, No, he still should just die in jail, though. I mean, if you kill somebody, you should die in jail. Yeah, and I mean... I that he killed him like, like, a, a, like a friggin' firefight. Like, he jumped the cops coming into, uh, into a bar, took their guns, pistol whips, and stripped them down their underwear and shot them in the back of the head. Jesus, and now he's writing books How do you stuff? beat up two cops and take their guns? How the, the fuck is... cop was a rookie. They were, go, they were responding to a... Uh, to a noise complaint, and it turned out that they they you know been high on drugs the, the two criminals and they had stole some money from the mob or some crap and so the the rookie was outside and my uncle went into the police that you know into oh. the bar and they were behind the door so when they came into the into the bar they got him from behind the rookie went in without no weapon came back out called for backup went back in to help his partner and they killed both cops oh, he killed wow. two cops two cops yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, it's, when you hear a case like that, um, on a moral level, I, I firmly believe those guys should both just be shot in the fucking head for doing that immediately. Like, yeah, my my argument against that penalty range. is not is not about not thinking it's right. It's just I I just don't trust our system enough to know that only guilty people will get it. I agree, you know, and especially from you know twenty thirty years ago, you know, people have been on death row for ten fifteen years. Yeah, okay, fine, maybe you know convert their sentence to life imprisonment, whatever it costs, and make them sit there and rot. If, but, if the prosecutions were going out and these in the cases where it's a little iffy and, and actually being the ones fighting to get DNA to make sure I would have a lot more faith in it, like if, if the state was, was making 100% sure that they hadn't fucked up in the past, yeah. like, but when they're fighting things like the Memphis Three because the prosecutors don't want to look bad, it's hard to have faith in their judgment. I think you just called them prosecutions. Did I? Yep. Well, I like <laughs> to pluralize... <laughs> When they, did I call them prosecutions or what they have done were prosecutions? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, uh, exactly. No, I didn't. I probably fucked up. <laughs> well, Iraq, could you go back and get that, please? We have to make sure if a mistake was made on this program. One of us just made a mistake. One of us made a mistake. <laughs> we have to find out who did yes. it. We have our own case to deal with. Yes. Here on the opium. A heavy show. case. Yeah. This guy was, like, forced out of prison. I'm reading about, about this, this yeah. guy that, the, that he just called in. A three-member panel of the New Jersey Superior Court ordered the Department of Corrections in June 2000 to release uh, Trantino within 30 days and to immediately transfer him to a halfway house on the basis of their finding that the parole board's decisions in the case were unreasonable. So Unreasonable. He killed what? two cops. Yeah. It was unreasonable. And they had a weapon, you know, a, a convic uh, confession, everything. And it was unreasonable to keep him in jail. In its ruling, the court stated that that he had satisfied the terms of release and did not pose a danger to commit any further crimes once paroled. What, now now he, look up what he did five years, like three, four years ago when he beat the shit out of his girlfriend. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Well, he was, he was better, though, I thought. He was all, he was all fixed. Yeah, no, that, that can't be true. Because that's he was rehabilitated. Rehabilitated. No. Yeah, he that's was legal nonsense. That, that, I guarantee that's just legality because yeah. the, the terms of life in prison were probably X amount of years to life and he probably had offended in jail, so they probably had to let him go. Not saying it's right. Well, he was, yeah, he was... She got life without parole. His sentence was commuted to a single life sentence. He was eligible for, for parole in 77 after serving 15 years in jail. Uh, when did he get out? 2002. After 2000. Years. Wow, okay. Yeah. All right. Somewhere in there. All yeah, right, thanks, 2002. Yeah, thanks wow. a lot. This is a... Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to see? He didn't go quietly away. Then he got arrested again for beating the crap out of his girlfriend. I don't know what the hell happened. I thought he was rehabilitated. 
Yeah, he's, yeah, I think he's fine. Well, yeah. anytime, let, let's be honest here. Any anytime someone beats their girlfriend, it's wrong. But I always want to know what she was saying first. Right? Like, what? <laughs> what did she do to let's cause not this? Jump to conclusions. Thanks, Rob. Was he talk? She's talking during the game. Yeah. All right. You want to uh, see who made the mistake? Eric's got the clip. Of course he does. Okay. If the prosecutions were going out and these in the case, yep, I made the mistake. Yes, <laughs> yes. If the prose if the prosecutions, they're called the prosecution force. I'm not talking. I'm not used to talking this early this much. Yeah, I I usually get going at like fucking eight o'clock when I have my coffee. I, I wake Dude. up. Yeah, boom. you know what? Dude, yeah, boom, yeah. You got your eggs, your coffee, your mind goes boom. Dude, open and talk. You just relax. Boom. Rocco, fucking idiots! I'm metafast. <laughs> farting up a storm. <laughs> this guy's a piece of shit. Who, yeah, Rocco? Bobby you Kelly didn't even really talk to him. Piece of shit. Bob? This, this Hello. guy, Trantino. Hello? Oh, the guy who just... Yeah, hang on yeah. a second, Rocco. The guy that... Uh, the yeah, last I'm, reading, I'm reading about. about when he was released from jail again after beating his girlfriend. Yeah. And uh, he's released, but he was still... He was released... Wait, he went back to jail, and then he was released again. Yeah. Oh. But he was still a little cranky, complaining that he cannot shake the cop killer label he carries for the murder of two police officers 41 years ago. Oh my! You, I just can't shake yeah, this. Yeah. Just, you know, one hit wonder, I guess. Uh, Rocco. All right. What do you do? You guys think that if he got life in jail and he actually wanted to get, uh, you know, executed, he should get executed? Like, what do you think the worst penalty? Like, like when guys who want to, it's like guys who want castration, pedophiles. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say because a part of me thinks yes, and a part of me thinks like you can't do suicide by cop and you yeah. can't do suicide by state. I don't know. It's a, it's a tough question. I never thought of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess you have because you can't you can't go case by case every single time. You have to. I mean, I would think there might Some be people one would rather just be killed. Yeah, but yeah. I think it, you you should be you have to just deal with that to kill the people who need to be killed. And and lawyer men's might not allow <laughs> that to happen. Yeah, and lawyer men's and and prison peoples might fight that. I don't know. There's an Indian, Andrew the Indian, who wants to tell us about the old Indian way of handling. And by the way, they won't let you hang yourself. In. They take your shoelaces. The state has a certain responsibility for you once you're in incarceration. This way they can't kill you and blame it on suicide. Yeah, but I've seen Oz, and I know they can get around that. I know, me too. Remember out of BC? Who <laughs> stick didn't get hard when he walked in the room and challenged you? <laughs> yeah, exactly, with his shirt off and his hand down his oh trousers. Oh, fucking God. If I only knew he'd be on the plane and lost, I know I'd have taken a trip. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew the Indian, you're on the show. Yeah, how we doing, boys? Hey, yeah, uh, hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, uh, hey, uh, this, that, the other. But listen, old W N E W. What I gotta say is, when uh, when there was something like this happening in the tribe back in the day, people were just they would that's it. They were just left. They would put them out on the edge of the camp. Get the fuck out of here. Just step away. I'd take that over life in prison. That sounds much better. Like, yeah, okay, you have somewhere. Yeah, you have to leave Westchester. You, yeah, you got to leave. You got to leave anything. You know, what, what you're used to, you're out. You're finished. End of story. I don't want to see you anymore. We don't want to see you anymore. You're away from everybody that held you dear. Tough break. We thought it was going to be a harsh, like, fucking yeah. apocalypto type yeah. treatment. It's right. Just go away now. Yeah. Don't come back, you. We're you way know, better at punishing check people. Check it, check it out. When there was a divorce, if the wife wanted to move her old man out, he just, she just, she just put his moccasins outside the teepee. No jokes. But if she, if he wanted to get rid of her, he could cut her nose off. Cut the tip of her nose off. End of story. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. You yeah, but then how would she smell things? <laughs> I don't know. I, you know. I, I love care, the enthusiasm man? of Andrew who's telling these, like, stories that, like, yeah. he's giving an example of a, of the death penalty that's much easier than ours but he's doing it he's telling it in a way to make it sound like it's this mega thing like they made him leave they could come back yeah, he's like, saying with enthusiasm and, yeah. and, and muster on the patrice step on the patrice step why why my question is why are the cops always right why is the state always right they're not maybe 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 mumia was it wrong maybe you know who knows man we're all fucked up but anyway yo patrice i love you jimmy i love patrice you. is not here sir That's, yes uh, yes he is that's me i'm patrice o'neill I, I know he's not there, but still. Look. Oh, okay. I love Patrice as well, but I, I love him more when he's <laughs> here, not when he's a fucking a mist <laughs> yeah, you, in the air and a memory. You don't love him enough to just randomly I say, you know who I love? Chair. Yeah, I like to thank him in the middle of real conversations I'm having about other things. That was a funny example, though. Like, their death penalty sucks, the Indians, but they have a, a horrible way of dealing with, like, any type of domestic dispute. Like, you know, if you kill people, they just go, now, don't look at this anymore. Yeah. But if you fucking talk while the game is on, your husband can cut your clit off and <laughs> soccer kick it. <laughs> 
beautiful society. Yeah. yeah. But thank you, John. Uh, <laughs> Same joke twice. It's funny. Will in Houston. Will in Houston. What's he, what's he Will in Houston to do? Is he going to problem or something? <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to call up and tell you guys about uh, Robert Durst, the guy, uh, the real estate mogul's son in Galveston, who admitted in court to dismembering uh, his victim with a paring knife, two saws, and an axe, and he got off on uh, self-defense. Well, what were they coming at him with? <laughs> uh, I think capital. I don't know what the murder charges were, but uh, yeah, they were they were trying to convict him of murder, and he got off on self-defense after admitting in court dismembering the guy. Well, maybe he was in a lot of danger. Maybe he killed him in panic, and maybe that guy's limbs were jostling around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah, I don't know. You don't know. Be... Check your facts, Will. <laughs> it might be an easier defense when you can hire the best defense attorney and your dad's a giant real estate mogul worth billions of dollars. It could be, but... It helps. Could be what Jim said, too. You don't know. Yeah. Thank I... you, Will. The more money you have, the more you can spend. Good point, Jim. <laughs> but, you know, I mean... It's not always the most expensive lawyer that's going to do the trick. For instance, today, Club Soda Kenny yes, right. is going to be the guy who goes into that courtroom. He'll be the dumbest lawyer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Club Soda Kenny is going to go in because the reason Opie and Anthony aren't here is if you're just tuning in. Yes. They're it, both dead. It's, it's very sad. Yeah. <laughs> They're However, found in a lover's tryst together in a vehicle. Just, Jim, and, Jim and I have never been happier because we're taking this gig full time. They were found, and look, not to disrespect their memories, but they both had their pants around their ankles <laughs> and their hands on each other's penises, and it was just a tragic accident. They didn't realize the garage door was closed and the yeah. car was running. I mean, that happens sometimes, but at least <laughs> at least they left us like they would want to have left us, you know? <laughs> Just tugging each other's puds. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic edging accident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they said that uh, Anthony was found with his head against the window and, and his hands up in the slow down motion. He was apparently telling Hope to slow down. Hope, Hope was known as aggressive sexually. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, quick quick jerk McGillicuddy was his nickname <laughs> yeah. around the office. We kind of kept it under our hearts. I mean, there were a few times where there was, uh, you know, physical incidents, scarring would come in, and we knew what was going on. We just never thought... That it would get to this point. We never thought that tragedy would strike. We had warned the boys many times to always <laughs> open because the, they like to have the music really loud, like in casinos, so nobody could hear them jerking each other off. Exactly. God bless their souls. Not, they they will be guys. missed. <laughs> um, on that note, we'll take a break and be right back. We should try to get one of them on the phone if they're awake. Opie's awake. They're dead. Yeah, or, or not yeah, dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Sam, for blowing the big <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. The Twitterverse going. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was, everybody was going for it.